Welcome back to my workshop. Now, today, as part of my garden makeover, uh, I've got to extend the base for my shed. Now, this is all going to be in a separate video, but I realised I've never ever used a cement mixer. So what I've done is I've gone out and borrowed a cement mixer uh, and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to use it. Uh, either way, it's got to be easier than mixing it by hand. So the cement mixer is now in the garden. Uh, let's get out and have a look at the machine first. Right, so this is the cement mixer. It's a, a generic machine. Uh, I'll read the name out in a minute. I think it was made in Poland. Uh, but basically the transport here, uh, I did get it in the back of my car. Now, the only way to do that is obviously take this front leg off and also take these wheels off. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can figure out what does what. Right, so a bit of handheld action here. Uh, right, so the rear wheels, these ones here, they come off and basically you take out this bolt, loosen this bolt and then these legs come off. And on the front, you remove this bolt and then loosen this one and then pull the front leg off okay then that gives you this bit uh, which does actually fit it actually fits in the back of a full fiesta as well just for information right well we got this end this end we've got the motor okay there's a pin missing here so it's just got a screw in it let's pull that out if i can okay it's a very simple motor it's not a direct drive, it's belt, belt driven. Okay, but whatever you do, don't undo this while it's running because you could cut your fingers off. All right, so that's the motor. Let's pop that back in there. Uh, right, the manufacturer is this, which is Spomazers Biotax Stock. Okay, uh, I don't even know if that's right. What else have we got here? Oh yeah, right, we've got a simple on-off on off button here. Okay, plugged in, and it's just a normal 240 volt plug. All right, so that's the basic motor side. Uh, obviously you've got your drum. Now this has obviously been used quite a bit. Uh, it's got a load of cement in it. I'll try and clean some of that out before I give it back. Uh, right, on this side you've got a handle. Now this handle tips. Let's have a look. Okay, so you can actually rotate the drum and it's got locating holes there. Okay, that needs a bit of oil. So I'll probably do that before I start. And obviously it goes all the way, both ways. Okay, so this is useful, obviously, when you're tipping it out, which we'll probably get in a mess later on doing that. All right, yeah, not much else to it really. So, and it's bloody heavy. Right, let's start mixing some stuff up. Right, so the other thing I need is obviously a hose pipe and obviously a standing knife to open the bags. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ballast, which I've got here, which I've got from my good friends at Wix. Uh, now this says four parts ballast to one part cement. Okay, so that's the mix I'm going to do. It's obviously for concrete. All right, so first thing to do is get some of these bags open. All right, I've plugged it in, but um, I haven't even tried to see if it goes around yet, so let's do that. Right, I've put a little bit of water in to start with, uh, especially if it's a brand new machine, probably a good idea to put some water in it first. That should stop it all sticking to your brand new machine. This one, it's a bit too late because it's already coated. Right, start it again, stick some cement in it. So remember, four parts ballast, one part cement.
Right, it's very noisy, uh, but while it's doing that, what I'm going to do is quickly water where I'm going to pour it into uh, to stop the, the soil absorbing all of the, uh, the moisture out of the concrete. So I'll get on with that. That looks about done to me. Uh, it didn't take long at all. Uh, let's try tipping it in the hole, see what happens. Well, I got most of it in the hole, uh, some of it went over there, but that doesn't matter. It's all got to be blended in anyway. Uh, it looks like quite a nice mix, uh, but that's about it. It's easy enough. Uh, all I've got to do is next time I'll probably use a bucket. I'll tip it from the mixer into a bucket, then I can put it where I like. All right, but that is about it. Now I've got to do this, but that's a different story. Right, well that looks like it's it for tonight. Uh, I've managed to get as far as here and I've actually run out. Probably need another five bags of ballast. Uh, can't get those now, I'll have to get those tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be all right. Right, I'm knackered. So that's the first mix done. A lot easier than mixing it by hand. Uh, obviously I'll we'll clean all this like out now before I give it back, uh, but not until I've finished doing all of this. All right, okay, that was the first introduction to using a cement mixer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.